Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for um, the Full Moon Readings for the Earth Signs. So that is for the Gemini, Libra, and Aquarians. So let's see what's coming up for um, the reading for you guys. So for the Sun people, we're dealing with the, the Aquarians come up and the Tauruses. So whatever the situation is with the Air Signs, um, the Aquarians are going to be feeling this Full Moon Energies. Um, for the month of April so um, we have the energy of um, the Tauruses and the Pisces coming up for the Aquarians let's see what's coming up for the moon hair sign people we have Venus the planet of Venus we have Mars changes um, with work and we have Mercury and this is very good because what is happening and what is transpiring is basically that um, there are um, p more people coming up than planetary aspect and this is much better for you so the planetary aspects that we have is going to affect the moon side people and remember the people who are moon um, those are the people who are have to do with uh, and who are born between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. now as we look at the Sun sign people we have the Sun Aquarians the effect of the full moon is going to affect the, the Sun Aquarians and these are the people who are born between the hours of uh, 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. now some of you have um, situations to deal with the Tauruses now the Tauruses could come up in different different facility different different ways so um, let's see what what is going to be the central um, so that we know how these Tauruses the Leos are coming up and they are really really here Uranus is going to be removing the Leos out of your life or they could be bringing them into your life it depends because um, you guys are really connected to the fire sign especially in a love um, so it could be that um, the energies of the Leos, all of you air sign people, Aquarius, Gemini's, and Libras are going to be feeling the effect of the Leos. They could be um, um, returning in your life or they could be removed out of your life. So let's focus on the sun sign people. If your energies is, uh, um, and you were born between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6, 6 a.m. and 6 p.m., you're dealing um, with... Um, the energies of the Aquarians now the Aquarians could be coming in and helping you guys out okay but most of the effect of the Sun sign Aquarians um, are going to be affecting mostly the Aquarians some of you are going to be having situations to deal with the Taurus some of you are definitely going to be having situations to deal with the Pisces so, now whatever the effect that is coming in for the Taurus and Pisces because this is an earth sign person which is has to do with organization institutes and organization and the Pisces whoever and whatever is here and working and transpiring it has to do with organization business wise and transition that is about to come in your life now definitely some of you are going to be having um, differences with uh, um, uh, people groups of people and some of you are going to be having intuition um, situation working with uh, um, the, the, the aspect of uh, the other solar system or a neutral aspect of the spirit guides coming in as we look at the, the moon people these are the people that were born between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. and we have the planet of Venus so um, whatever transition that is going to be happening for you your sign is going to be have to uh, happening in your the love area of your life and if you have um, absolutely no um, um, relationship and that sort of a thing relationships could be coming in and these could be coming in um, with people that you're co having connection with people via the work floor or via career changes and that sort of a thing now career for you is going to be picking up and it's going to be looking very 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 good especially for the um, people who were born between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. career for you is really going to be picking up the Leo's could be helping you and the Sagittarians and Leos could be helping you to bring in new success in your life. So this is really wonderful. Mercury is here and Mercury is really a positive energy. Mercury help the Geminis and um, the, the energy of Mercury is here because it is all about you learning to manifest and manifest whatever it is that you will in your life. And that is really wonderful and positive. So 
um mercury comes up um and it is coming up in a very 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 positive situation in your life so look forward to that and look at that and see whatever is happening and transpiring so i'm really really um um loving this for you guys basically what is transpiring and what is happening is that there are definitely changes god I'm so glad this uh, blood moon is finished because, oh my God, this blood moon was um, so erupted in people's life. Um, blood moon is always taking out uh, things that no longer serve you. So um, that was really happening for a lot of people. So let's see what is going to be affecting sir, um, us, um, you guys, you air sign people for this full moon. And remember, um, call upon your angels and guides for the full moon, Archangel Annuel. She helps you to manifest things in your life, okay? So, Aquarians, what is going to be happening with the Aquarians facility? And this is what I said, that you Aquarians are going to be having an effect, the effect of you standing in limbo, trying to figure out what direction to go, how to move forward. This is really finding back your... Um, energy point where you are connected to the source of all things okay so you Aquarians are mostly is going to be in that sense now we have energy as have fate have fate whatever is coming out have fate and this is good because the Tauruses are going to be coming in and it's going to be giving you the stand of you having faith having faith in situations around you teaching you again to have faith in whatever it is that no longer serve you but to have faith in the universe okay so it's all about you guys returning faith to connect to the universe and understanding how this situation um, whatever is happening your spirit guides are definitely here joy is going to be coming in and the Pisces are going to be bringing joy in your life however way they're coming in and bringing this joy it's going to be very very wonderful because um, the news is that some of you Leo's and the uh, Pisces is going to be coming in and bringing that joy in your life so this is really 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 positive and good so let's look at the moon people to see what is going to be happening in love for you moon people because definitely there is going to be some transition that is going to be happening for the moon people and we have forgiveness so a lot of you needs to find forgiveness um, with people who you're in relations with um, whoever these people are whoever these situations are you have to find forgiveness um, forgiveness is going to be the key for love for you air sign people whenever it comes on to relationship but Mars is coming up and with Mars there's a lot of gossip so um, be aware because this energy of gossip is coming up in this full moon I've seen it before there's a lot of gossip a lot of gossip a lot of people um it is it, gossip at work is gossip there is just so much gossip that is going on that is just totally ridiculous and stay out of gossip at work listen to people have nothing to say and hold your comment for yourself now mercury is definitely going to be bringing positive energies in your life so whatever the situation is mercury is definitely definitely bringing po um, positive situation in your life and as you look there is joy and perfection which is going to be happening joy and perfection which is going to be coming out and it's definitely going to be happening so um that is basically good with this joy and perfect um perfection that is coming out you are going to be um aware of certain aspect and certain situation that is coming out now with the leos we have renewal so some of you as i've said they could be coming back there could be um a, a situation where someone is returning in your life and there is going to be a connection and a renewal of love that is coming in um so a lot of you leos um a lot of you who are dealing with people who are leos it could be your parents that sort of a situation they are bringing back a new sense of reality in your life which is very positive now uranus um that is the um the um the guides of the Aquarians and Uranus is going to bring you on a quest and with that quest what is going to be happening is that the facility is going to be coming out with that quest so 
you know, this is very, very positive. Whatever is transpiring, this is very, very, this is going to be a very positive um, full moon um, for you guys because uh, whether you're a sun sign person or a moon sign person Uranus is going to definitely bring you on a quest and this quest is to bring you to find out what it is that is true for you and only for you okay so whenever we go on a quest it is always uh, that we're trying to figure out what is best for me I mean a lot of people are giving me all these information but what is the best scenarios um, for myself I'm sorry guys I'm trying to figure out what time is it so um, this is this is really um, after all that blood moon that has transpired this is really really positive um, this is positive situation positive energy all the blood moon um, situation that has transpired now there is a return of fate um, in your lives and the Aquarians are mostly being felt by this because the Aquarians are the most psychic out of all of you three um, um, signs you um, you Aquarians Aquarians and um, the Librans are very psychic the Gemini's are always the manifestors and the Gemini's think about uh, um, things and try to um, work on things and think about things but you Aquarians are more of a sense that you need to be in a place where um, you need to find out who you are so again it's a wonderful full moon for you guys because fate is here that is your healing energy to have faith in whatever the process is um, the central that is going to affect everyone is that there is going to be a renewal and this renewal that is coming in is that the Leos are going to be bringing this renewal in your life which is really really wonderful forgiveness is going to be the key so some of you um, could be getting divorced and um, in, in, um, in love for this full moon for the Gemini it's finding pleasure in um, social connection okay so so you some of you Gemini's are going to be really looking forward and finding pleasure in social um, connections okay um, some of you um, the Leo's are going to be helping you to remember to give as well as to receive so that is what the renewal is basically for because the Leo's are definitely going to be actually helping you um to understand and to remember to give as well as to receive okay so um the, it is a very very positive energies for you now the aquarian is all about envisioning acting as a uh, beauty that changes the world okay so that's what you guys are going to be going out on a quest and especially for the aquarians what is going to be happening is that you're going to be envision and acting of beauty um, that changes the world and this is going to be good the liberance um, be a living work of heart this is going to be what is going to be happening for you Libras is that you're going to be truly a living work of heart and um, this is going to be good because whenever these sort of a situation happens and transpire you're seeing joy it is bad it is really a wonderful reading because there is actually um, no sad or no negative energies or no negative um, situation that needs to be removed um, it's all about the renewal of joy the perfection of who you are just um, release yourself from gossip especially at work you know people just like to gossip um, people who like to gossip are very empty so they need to make their own stories to make themselves look good fate is going to be here so believe in yourself believe in the universe and know that things will work out there is a quest that is going on and you guys are going to be going on a quest and I'm saying to you guys uh, enjoy namaste until next full moon.